Hey everyone, so the proposal that I am going to present would be for grades K through three. And uh, the reason that I chose this grade is because the, the problem I have found is that these younger grades don't have um, the same kind of a, access to technology that um, other grades have. Now, I know that in our district, the district that I work in and the district that my students my children attend um, has uh, personal computers for every student from third grade up. Now, at the beginning of the year, they are assigned these computers and they get to take, depending on the school, depending on the teacher, they get to take them home daily, maybe weekly, and work on assignments that way. It allows them a way where they don't have to access like shared computer labs they can save their work on their individual computers and it's great it gives them a way to to do electronic assignments at home save on paperwork i've seen students take tests on their uh, personal computers to save from having to write they can type it instead and this is a wonderful um, thing to have for for this day and age where we are so based on technology that this allows for less waste. The problem I have is that the younger students are being left behind. They're not given that one-to-one -one access to a computer. And so therefore they have to wait until it's time to visit the school computer lab if the school has a lab. And I think that the solution, you know, a, a possible solution to this would be to, um, have a set of, um, I was thinking something along the lines of a tablet form, something that's touch integrated, whether it's a touch screen computer or an iPad um, for, for students in, in those younger grades that they can use one-on-one -on -one so they can, their teachers have the ability to integrate technology in their day-to-day -day instead of having to wait until they go to the computer lab to be able to do a um, computer-based learning activity. I think the advantages to this are huge. They have a way that they have more interest in engaging. I think they'd be more willing to do um, different projects if they could integrate technology into it in a world that, let's just face it, is so deeply ingrained in technology. I see children all the time at the store and what do they find to entertain themselves? What do they want to do? They want to play on their mom's phone. They want to play on their dad's iPad. And so to bring something like that into the classroom is a different way of engaging them in something that they may otherwise not have much interest in. The cost for something like this would be, you know, on average, anywhere from $150 to $300 per um, device but these devices are reused year after year and so it's not like every year this would be a new cost it once the initial cost is done then it's just maintenance as far as hardware or software that needs to go onto them um, I think that would be minimal um, most things that could be done would are free programs. Most things that could be that would need to be purchased are of minimal cost, and it's just a one-time purchase. Like um, maybe if they needed a, a student version of Microsoft Office for something that doesn't already come with it, then you know you get that, you're, and then it's done. It's there. So as far as software costs, that would be minimal, um, and then the hardware cost is just the initial. Um, purchase and after that then it's it's taken care of um, I already briefly talked about where I thought it should be implemented first um, I think that you know for example kindergartners kindergartners are these fresh new minds and they're learning so much and what a better way to integrate something in um, like mobile teaching where you can have them sitting at their desks and you can send something that goes to all of their iPads and have them click their answer and and see how it plays back. I've seen this in older students where they have a game 
and it's a learning game and they they all select their answers and it gives them points for that and it's just a fun way to do the lessons and and I, I'm still a firm believer that that lessons should be covered you know by paper by sitting down by doing the drills by doing the worksheets by working out the problems but there's fun ways to really establish that knowledge by doing these little quiz games where you have to solve the equation and and it's just another way to to bring some enjoyment and some fun into learning that I don't think that we always are able to do um, in other ways. I think it would have a huge impact on engaging the students and it allows teachers and educators a, a huge avenue of abilities and ways to um, set up lesson plans, to find ways to teach um, their students. And it, the biggest thing to me would be that some students have a hard time with, maybe it's hard for, for them to write out what they think, but um, that might be what sets them back in their learning, but to have a um, computer that or a tablet that will allow them to type in their answers or touch their options or draw it with the, um, the touch screen might be the way that they learn it. It might it might be what gets through to them and, and what makes it click in their heads. So I think that it would be um, worth the investment. Um, thank you guys for letting me share. Have a great evening.